Greetings to all my viewers. Welcome to another episode of The Legendary Stories. My name is Nana Osei the voice of Benima Sipwedi community. Let's delve into the genealogical descendants of Ken Osei Tutu and Yatutuwa. In the heart of Oforikrum municipality of the Ashanti region, Ghana, lies Benima Sipwedi, a community and a place steep in history and legend. This land is the birthplace of Nana Kunedu Efia Ufi, the cherished daughter of the illustrious king Osei Tutu, the founder of the Ashanti Empire. She became the progenitor of our indigenous community, present day known as the Huehi Echama Tutuwa royal family. The name Benimase in Akan means come and learn our roots, a call to discover the rich heritage of this land. Bwedi, on the other hand, honors the Gongon Bita, a messenger of Kinosei Tutu, who was entrusted with establishing a settlement for Ohinyiri Tutuwa. The king's esteemed consorts and our maternal ancestor. Bwedi, who also served as the chief of Insania Township, lent his name to this community. Beni Masibwedi is embraced by the streams Bokru, Chuwa, Adampersu, and Rivers Subin, and is neighbored by the townships of Angumaso, Odium, Kentinkrono, Emena, and Ayeduyase. The tale of this town begins in the 16th century with Ya Echama, a woman of striking beauty from the Asuna clan of Chebi Ahonyase present-day Eastern region. Seeking refuge during the era of the conquest, she journeyed to Ashanti region and found a sanctuary in Abrakaso. Hosted by Nana Edujemfi, the chief of Abrakaso, modern-day Agona. King Osei II, captivated by the tales of Ye Chama's beauty, summoned her to his court. Upon meeting her, he was enchanted and proposed marriage. A delegation of elders traveled to Chebi to perform the marriage rites. Ye Chama became King Osei Tutu's wife, finally, and winning his favor with his grace and attentiveness. However, this incited jealousy among the king's other concubines, who dubbed her Umwenhi, meaning annoying. During this time, King Osei Tutu faced the sorrows of childlessness, including Ya Echama Tutuwa. Ya Tutuwa Echama sought the blessings in her desperations of the stream goddess Efia Ufi in Asante Efijase. She vowed to the deity, and in fulfillment of her vow, she bore a child and a daughter for the king Osei Tutu, whom they named Kunedu Efia Ofi. The birth of the princess Kunedu Efia Ofi brought immense joy to the royal palace. In honor of his beloved consort on their account of procreation, King Osei Tutu created a prestigious Ohenyiridra, the Empress Tu, elevating her status within the Ashanti culture and the royal nobility. This too symbolizes their union and the legacy of their lineage. This brings you to the end of this episode. We encourage all viewers to like, share, and comment, and stay in tune for further updates. Thank you once again, and have a great morning.